live from Champion Christian College in Hot Springs. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball live on FZeroSports.com. Good evening and thank you for tuning into this broadcast of Nighthawks basketball. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. Tonight, the Crosstown rivalry begins, Nathan, as National Park with a two-game winning streak takes on Crosstown Champion Christian College. Definitely the first time these two teams are going to meet, probably going to meet again many more times in the future to come. Uh, it's been a long layoff for the Nighthawks. They were supposed to play Philander Smith uh, a couple weeks ago, but due to uh, unforeseen circumstances, they weren't able to play. So that game will uh, be rescheduled at a later date. But they're really excited to play Champion College here, a, a new in-town in rivalry. And of course, here on the road for the first time with the broadcast crew and uh, who have had a few, a few te technical difficulties getting off the ground tonight, but we appreciate everybody tuning in live uh, via YouTube on xzerosports.com. And shout outs to Connor, our cameraman, uh, posted up here in the corner. And if you can see this, the uh, the gymnasium here, uh, a very tight atmosphere and uh, jam-packed standing room only. This one's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely going to be a look very exciting. Uh, two, two look like very athletic teams here during the warm-up. So it's going to be exciting to see how this goes. Here's the opening tip, and we are underway. It's controlled by champion Christian College, Trayvon Reed. Reed quickly out, long three-pointer off the mark. Austin Pike won't fall. Rebound goes to KJ Quarter and the National Park Nighthawks. Long three by Braylon Steen. They'll trade threes, nothing will fall. And here come the Tigers of champion Christian College. Trayvon Reed wears number 20 for the Tigers. Kicks it out to the top of the key, Pargo Williams. Williams drives in, puts a shot up, and a foul. Before the shot, the Tigers will inbound it beneath their own basket. Just underway here in the first half. Set to inbound will be Trayvon Reed of the Tigers. They're looking to adjust the scoreboard here. 19.27 remaining here in the first half. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to tonight's broadcast on X Zero Sports. National Park College on the road, looking to extend its win streak to three games. A long three off the mark, no good. Rebound goes to Braylon Steen in the Nighthawks. And here comes National Park College. KJ Quarter, top of the key, as he looks for running room. Feeds it over to Harper, and now Lowell Washington. Washington nearly loses it, kicks it out to Braylon Steen for three. He's got it, and National Park College strikes first tonight, leading 3 nothing. Big shot there by Braylon Steen. One for two from beyond the arc tonight. The Nighthawks lead 3 nothing. In transition, nowhere to go. They'll kick it out back to the top of the key. Pargo Williams, number 25, for the Tigers. Williams. Out to Pike. Now Pike drives in, puts a shot up in traffic. It's good. Austin Pike for two. It's a one-point lead for the Nighthawks, 3-2. to 18-28 to play. And a travel call. Nathan, this court is different than anything the Nighthawks have played on before. Definitely. It is a very close quarters, very, very tight court. So not a lot of room for error for sure. 18-22 and counting here in the first half. Across the timeline come the Tigers, Trayvon Reed. Reed guards against Harper at the point, feeds it in down low. And a turnover goes back to the Nighthawks. There's Seth Duke set to inbound. He's one of our featured Nighthawk players of the game coming up in the halftime segment of tonight's broadcast. We'll talk to Seth as well as teammate KJ Corder. And a travel call. Lowell Washington got started before he dribbled. And turnovers here. It's been back and forth so far here in the first half in just the first two minutes of action, Nathan. That's two straight turnover calls on Lowell. That, that one was kind of ticky-tack. I'm not, I'm not quite sure he traveled, but. Pike dribbles against Harper. And now down low on the near wing, Reed. Reed in traffic, pull up three-pointer, got it. And it's the first lead of the night for champion Christian College. They lead 5-3. Big basket there. And now the Nighthawks looking to play against the press defense from the Tigers. Fed into Harper, down low KJ quarter. 
And now they'll thread the needle back to the top of the key. Duke posts up, puts a shot up, and it's good. Great shot by Duke to tie it. Anybody's ball game here in the first. Long three won't fall. There's Duke with the rebound. Seth Duke heating up here in the first half. Quarter now for a long three. In and out, no good. Rebound, champion Christian College. All tied at five, 17.05 to play in the first half. Pike kicks it out down low. Shot up in traffic, it's good. Cody Connor. And the Tigers will have their second lead of the night. And a quick turnover. It'll go to the Tigers. Set to inbound is Reed for the Tigers. He'll get it out. Top of the key is Pargo Williams. Driving, trying to feed it down, it's stolen away. It was kicked away by Quarter. And now National Park with the basketball. Seth Duke fighting for it. He'll lose it, and it'll stay with the Nighthawks. Fast-paced action here at starting off this game. They're, both these teams are very athletic. And of course, you can see it on the camera. Standing room only here at Champion Christian College, nestled in the heart of Hot Springs. And everybody coming across town to tune into this one. What could be a crosstown rivalry? Lowell Washington for two. That'll tie the game back up at seven. Pargo Williams with the basketball at the top of the key over to Reed. Cross court pass. As Williams pulls up, in traffic, won't go. Lowell Washington with the big board. Rebound Washington, here come the Nighthawks in transition. KJ Quarter out to Harper, long three won't fall. The tip in is good. Out the basket. It'll be an and one opportunity for Lowell Washington. A foul is charged against number 20, Trayvon Reed. That was a great offensive rebound by Lowell. Got, got fouled and now he's got the chance for the three point play. Harper's gonna take a seat, and in comes teammate Clyde Ricks. It's been a while since our last broadcast, Nathan, but Ricks had a huge game in that one. He sure did. The three-point play from Washington, the lead back to three for National Park College. That matches its biggest so far tonight in this back and forth contest. Williams in down low to Pike, and now a shot up. It's good, DeMarchio DeVoyle. And now it's 10-9. Duke and Ricks trying to get it across the timeline. Long pass to Steen. Shot won't fall, it's knocked away. Picked up by the Tigers. Here comes champion Christian College. Reed down low. Cody Connor here on the near sideline. Back out to Reed at the top of the key. They'll run it around. Shot up in traffic. And a blocking foul will be charged against Braylon Steen. Going to the line will be number 25, or excuse me, number 20, Reed. 15-15 to play here in the first half. Back and forth we go. National Park holding onto a one point lead. Pargo Williams at the line to tie it up. First shot doesn't fall. Nighthawks with two team fouls early on here. Second shot doesn't fall. 0 for 2 from the line, the rebound with the Nighthawks. Here comes Seth Duke. Duke to Ricks across the timeline. Clyde Ricks, a finesse move, puts up a shot no good. Reed in transition. Ball is knocked away. They're fighting for it on the floor. Ricks got his hands on it. There's a jump ball. And what can you say about what Clyde that Ricks can do, Nathan? That's textbook Ricks right there. <laughs> He's got the, one of the pair of the fastest hands on the team for sure. And Clyde Ricks will get the ball for the Nighthawks. Inbounds to Duke. And across the timeline, here we go. National Park leading 10-9. Now we've got a whistle and a foul. It'll be a push foul charged against the Tigers. Anton Pirtle. Stays with the Nighthawks here as Lowell Washington set to inbound. He'll kick it into Duke, back to Washington. Here come the Nighthawks. 
Braylon Steen, long three, off the mark, no good. Seth Duke with the rebound, and Steen with the putback, no. Rebound, Nighthawks. It'll go out of bounds and stay with National Park College. Jalen Corley. 14-44 to play here in the first half. 10-9, Nighthawks. Alley-oop pass is knocked away. It's controlled by the Tigers here. Jalen Corley, who wears number 23, will get it over to Pike. Pike drives in. There's a foul off the ball. It'll be charged against Seth Duke. It's two, two early fouls on Duke here just six minutes into the first half. And coming off the bench, one of the best bench players for National Park College, Jarvis Ricks enters the game. And this bench, this depth that the Nighthawks has, Nathan, it's quite impressive, the talent level. It's definitely a, an advantage for them tonight with the, several more players than this Gospel Light team has. Christian College, I'm sorry. Lowell Washington at the top of the key, down low, Braylon Steen. Steen puts a shot up and got it. Nighthawks. That'll extend the Nighthawks' lead back to three, 12 to nine. Coming up on 14 minutes left here in the first half, and Clyde Ricks getting handsy. And now a charge foul. That's a turnover over to National Park College. It's against Anton Pirtle. I believe that's his second personal. Ricks set to inbound. He'll inbound to Jarvis Ricks. Here come the Nighthawks. Three different times the Nighthawks have led by three points tonight. They're looking to extend the lead here. Hot Springs native KJ Quarter now to Lowell Washington. Kicked out, stolen away. Here comes Connor in transition. Connor puts a shot up, won't fall, and fighting for it is Jarvis Ricks who comes up with the rebound. And now a reach in foul. That one's charged against Cody Connor. Personal foul. Number 22, his first personal, team third. First personal for Connor, it stays with the Nighthawks. Ricks set to inbound to Ricks. 13.32 to play in the first. Officials for tonight's game are J.P. Hodges, James Bickham, and Daniel Brown. Uh, they're calling it tight here in this early, early part of this game. You can see it in the crowd as we look at Clyde Ricks at the basketball. A lot of Nighthawk blue in the crowd tonight, Nathan. It's a team that travels well. Ball stolen away. Connor's got it on the floor. Gets it to Pike. It's knocked away by Ricks. Clyde Ricks with the steal across the timeline. He'll kick it out. Long three. Won't fall. And a foul. That's going to send Ricks to the line to shoot three. You don't see that happen very often, Nathan, but Jarvis Ricks getting an opportunity to get on the board for the first time tonight. He'll take them any way he can get them. 12-9, to nine, the Nighthawks lead. First shot is up and good. Second shot, no good from Ricks. The lead is four, which is the biggest lead of the night for either team. Coach Hudno, I talked to him before the game. He said that, you know, this team wasn't to be taken lightly, this champion team. They played some tough opponents, so he expected it to be the toughest match we've had this year. And you got to walk past that trophy case on the way into the gymnasium, and they have quite a bit of hardware here in the hallway. 14-9, to nine, the lead is five for National Park College. Ball knocked away. Guess who? Clyde Ricks. Ricks, he'll cough it up. And now it goes back to the Tigers in transition. Connor with the put up. No. Could have called for goaltending there. He, he got a piece of that on the go. KJ Corner all the way home. Yes. Timeout and a timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. 16 to 9. National Park leads by seven. It's a this is timeout. National Park Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com. Overcoming a personal challenge. X Zero Sports wants to recognize the brightest stars in Arkansas by sharing their stories online for the world to enjoy. 
We call these people X Zero Heroes, and we believe their stories should be shared with the world. Nominate your X Zero Hero today by visiting us at XZeroSports.com. from champion Christian College in Hot Springs. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. Big game on our hands tonight. Crosstown rivalry. This could be the first of many great games between two teams here in Hot Springs. And it's National Park College with a seven point lead so far, 16 to nine over the Tigers. Here come those Tigers across the court is Trayvon Reed. Down low, Austin Pike. Now Connor, a long three, nothing but net. That'll help the Tigers get back into the swing of things, Nathan. The lead back down to four. 16-12 as Jarvis Ricks out to Logan Willett, who checks in. Ricks loses it off of his foot. It's coughed away. Here comes Connor once again, kicks out to Pike, up and in. And here come the Tigers, answering back in a big way, just a two-point game. 16-14, National Park holds on to a two-point lead. The five-nothing run coming out of the timeout for the Tigers. Knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with National Park College. And we get for champion, right? Coach Hudnall on the near sideline shouting orders at his team. He's trying to get Jarvis Ricks involved. There's now a substitution coming in. Seth Duke checking in. Willett looking for someone to inbound it to. Gets it to quarter. KJ quarter. Pull up jumper. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Steen puts a shot up and it's good. How many times this season, Nathan, has this team counted on the arms, the size of Braylon Steen and came up big? He's a force down low for this team. And this Christian is starting to heat up now. What a bucket there. Long three from Reed. Pulls the Tigers within one. 18-17 National Park. Steen in traffic, up and in. Braylon Steen heating up for the Nighthawks here. The lead back to three. Argo Williams with the basketball for the Tigers. Cross court now. Now back to Williams. Williams shot up in traffic. Off the rim, no good. And now the Tigers with the putback. Austin Pike. Back and forth we go. 10.45 to play. Very good matchup so far here tonight. Out of bounds. Ball sails out of bounds. It'll stay. It'll go to the Tigers, excuse me, who trail by one. Well, Washington comes back into the game, replacing quarter. Reed out to Williams as the Tigers. Look for an opportunity here, and I believe we have a timeout. Timeout down on the floor. We're going to take it with them. 20 to 19. The Nighthawks lead. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball live from Hot Springs on XZeroSports.com. Do you want to relive the biggest moments from today's game? How about give the gift of sports with an audio copy of today's broadcast? They make great gifts and can ensure your athletes' memories last a lifetime. For more information, call Mark Oliver at 501-617-4106 or find us online at xzerosports.com. You're listening to X Zero Sports, the next generation of Arkansas sports. Broadcasting live worldwide at xzerosports.com. Back here at Champion Christian College, alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. Close game here, and what we hoped would be a good one. Playing over here on the campus of Champion Christian College in Hot Springs. Short road trip for the Nighthawks. And this one point lead for National Park College. Down low, Connor pulls up for three, he's got it. And that will be the first lead in quite some time for the Tigers. Cody Connor has eight points here for Christian Academy. 
Right back with the put back here. Breland Steen will tie it back up at 22. It seems like any time the Tigers make a big move, Nathan, Breland Steen's right there to answer back. And that's why he is one of the deadliest weapons for this Nighthawks team. He has definitely been the, the go-to guy here tonight early on. We haven't seen, you know, we'll keep waiting for one of these Nighthawk uh, hot streaks, you know. It's gonna happen, we're just not sure when. Set to inbound the basketballs, Cody Connor for the Tigers. Here comes champion Christian College. We're all tied up at 22. Dominique Poindexter into the game as he guards alongside Clyde Ricks. Down low, shot up, drawing the foul. It's gonna be charged against Lowell Washington. And that will send Cody Connor to the line for two. 9.22 to play here in the first half. Connor looking to break the tie here. First shot is up and in as the Tigers regain the lead. KJ Quarter is gonna check in for Lowell Washington. Second shot, good. And it's a two point game, two point lead for the Tigers of champion Christian. Clyde Ricks, now Logan Willett, thought about it. Threads a shot up down low, beautiful shot, didn't fall, here come the Tigers in transition. Reed, pull up shot, won't fall, there's Logan Willett with the board, and here come the Nighthawks. Trailing by two, National Park, Poindexter, all the way to the rim, got it. Dominique Poindexter's on the board, and we're tied up at 24. It's like a chess match, Nathan. <laughs> These two teams are very equally matched, you can tell. The Nighthawks led by as many as seven so far in this one. And a good timeout from the Tigers helped erase that hot streak. 8.30 to play in the first half. Down low, Connor puts up a shot, it's good. Cody Connor extending his team lead for the Tigers. 26-24, the Tigers lead. And now we've got a foul off the ball. It's gonna be charged against Poindexter. He got a little bit too physical, I believe, with Austin Pike, and it's a turnover. There's been a lot of away from the ball fouls more tonight than we've seen all year. And part of it may be that we just feel a little bit cramped, not in a bad way. Exactly. It, it, it's kind of nice for everybody to be jammed into the gymnasium tonight, but the floor just feels a little bit smaller. Logan Willett comes up with the rock, hands it over to Poindexter. Here come the Nighthawks. 26-24. As Steen tries to get it out to Willett, a souvenir for a lucky fan here tonight in Hot Springs. 7.49 and counting here in the first half. The Tigers looking for the inside, can't find it. Long three, guess what, Cody Connors got it. Cody Connor can hit it from just about anywhere on the court. He's proven it so far tonight. The biggest lead for the Tigers, it's five. Shot from Steen, won't fall, rebound. Champion Christian College, here come the Tigers. And now we've got a, a foul, or excuse me, an out of bounds call. Braylon Steen thought it should go to the Nighthawks. It's going to stay with the Tigers. Ball is inbounds. Williams up in the paint. Can't fall. Clyde Ricks with the rebound. Here come the Nighthawks. Ricks drives in down low. Kicks it out to Logan Willett. Willett down low to Steen. Yes, sir. Braylon Steen lays it up and in for two. The Tigers lead down to three. 29-26. 6.55 to play in the first half. Long three, Cody Connor, shot won't fall. And it was last touched by Clyde Ricks. Like to thank everybody for tuning into the broadcast tonight live in Hot Springs on xerosports.com. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. 
Tigers basketball. As the ball is knocked away here, going to National Park, KJ Quarter out wide and a long three. Shot won't fall. And this one will, will stay with National Park College. I think that last call right there was a makeup call from this other one down here because it looked like Steen touched it last, but they gave us the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Logan Willett set to inbound for the Nighthawks. Willett looking for a man on the inbounds. Out deep to KJ Quarter. Quarter. Shot won't fall. He's got the rebound and the putback. KJ Quarter. One of your featured Nighthawk players of the game. Don't forget, during the halftime segment of tonight's broadcast, we're going to talk to KJ Quarter. Part of the Nighthawk takeover this week for National Park College alongside Seth Duke. And now at the line for the and one. Big basket opportunity here. It won't fall. Cody Connor with the rebound for the Tigers who hold on by one, 29-28. Reed over to Connor who's guarded heavily by Poindexter. Now Trayvon Reed in traffic. Cody Connor, a little fake move. Now he'll take the three. He's got it. Nathan, he's got to be way up there in points so far in this uh, right, one. I've got him right now at, uh, he's got eight, 12, 14 points, so. Ball knocked away, stolen away, put up. And that bucket goes over to champion Christian. Reed puts it in. Scoring update here, it's 33-28. The Tigers with the lead by five as we got up close and personal <laughs> with some of the athletes here. For the first time this season, we're down on the floor and gotta say, I like the view. <laughs> it's definitely- Like def the view. A little bit of a risk factor. Can't get any closer, for sure. Get blood pumping. <laughs> out of bounds, violation! Out of bounds call. Weston Church must have stepped on the sideline. He'll cough up the basketball back over to champion Christian. So the story of the first half so far was back and forth. National Park pulled away by as many as seven. And now champion Christian has turned the tide here in the late half of the first half. 520 to play as Reed gets it over to Pike. Back to Reed. Williams now pull up a long three, won't fall. KJ Quarters there with the board. Here come the Nighthawks in transition. Clyde Ricks out to quarter. Church and then down low Ricks. Offensive foul. An offensive foul charged against Jarvis Ricks. And the calls have been tough for both teams. So A lot of tonight. foul calls in this first half. You talked about that depth earlier. That's going to come in key if these fouls keep getting called in the second half. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Bench play is going to be the big factor, I can tell, here in the second half upcoming. They're just moving the ball around. William puts a shot up, blocked by Braylon Steen. Out of bounds, and it goes to the Nighthawks. Nighthawk ball. That was all Braylon Steen right there. That was right a lot there. of hustle there from Fought Steen. Fought for it and was able to bounce it off of a Tiger toe to regain the basketball. They need it bad, trailing by five. 33-28 is KJ Quarter. Nearly loses it. He's got to get it away to, jar to Clyde Ricks. Moving the ball around down low. Corner puts it up and in. And he'll go to the line for the and one. That's nine points for Quarter here. He'll be going for his uh, double digits right on this free throw. KJ Quarter in all three of the broadcasts we've done so far for this team has had phenomenal games. Double digits every game. His and one won't fall. The lead stays at three for the Tigers of champion Christian. 423 and counting. As Pike gets it out to Reed. The Tigers looking for an opening offensively. Inside, ball's knocked away. Picked up by Braylon Steen. Steen all the way home with the monster jam. Oh my goodness, Braylon Steen, and that got the crowd into it. 
Dean has been a little bit upset with these uh, touchy fouls, and he took it out on the rim that time. We talked to Braylon Steen, and that blue and white scrimmage said, hey, you may be the guy that busts the backboard this year. He says, I'll try to do it on the road. <laughs> One point game. The Nighthawks with the basketball. Steen, pull up, won't fall. And now, a whistle. Personal foul. And it's going to be a foul charged Number against four. Clyde Ricks. I believe that's Rick's first personal. It is. So one and, one. and Rick's one of the most aggressive defensive players on this team. He'll be needed in the second half, so one's not so bad at this point. 33-32, the Tigers lead the Nighthawks. 3.35 to play. The Nighthawks don't have anyone with over two fouls yet, so they'd like to get to halftime with that pace. the line for the Tigers, Pargo Williams. Shots good. And the Tigers looking to just hold on to the lead any way they can. Set to check in for the Nighthawks, number double zero, Dusty Kesterson. KJ Quarter with a big rebound. Over to the top of the key, Clyde Ricks. Now a whistle and timeout. Timeout, Nighthawks will take it with them. 34-32, the Tigers lead. We're back after this. It's National Park College Basketball. Live from Hot Springs, right here on xerosports.com. Each day in Arkansas, many athletes and coaches are overcoming the odds and accomplishing great things in their communities. Whether it's a prestigious award, excellent community service, or overcoming a personal challenge. X-Zero Sports wants to recognize the brightest stars in Arkansas by sharing their stories online for the world to enjoy. We call these people X-Zero Heroes, and we believe their stories should be shared with the world. Nominate your X-Zero Hero today by visiting us at xzerosports.com. here at Champion Christian College alongside Nathan Looper. I'm Mark Oliver. Coming out of the timeout, it's a National Park basketball here. KJ Quarter at the top of the key as he gets it over to the Nighthawks teammates here. Long shot on its way from Clyde Ricks. He's got it. And that bucket's going to give the Nighthawks back the lead. Big shot there, Nathan. I believe that's the first three-pointer I've seen Clyde Ricks take this year. 35-34, the Nighthawks have it back, 2.50 to play. And in traffic, a long three coming down. Got it, big bucket, Jalen Corley. And now 37 to 35. Clyde Ricks over to KJ Quarter for the Nighthawks. And gonna lose the basketball away. It's picked up by the Tigers. Here comes champion Christian. Lane Waddle picks it up. And Trayvon Reed at the top of the key. Shot pulled up in the paint, won't fall. Coming up with it, KJ Quarter. Good rebound by the Nighthawks. 2-10 to play in the first half. Coach Hudnall wanting these fouls that were called earlier to be called on that rebound. Clyde Ricks in double traffic. Shot up now, now a foul. Ball. Or excuse me, go out of bounds, back to Kesterson and the Nighthawks of National Park College. 37-35, the Tigers lead by two. Under two minutes to play. As Quarter mans up. And another offensive foul call. So many of those tonight. And regardless of whether or not you agree with the call, you've got to adapt to it. If offensive call, if fouls are going to be called, you got to change your approach offensively. Lane Waddle with the basketball right in front of the booth here. Over to Cody Connor. Connor drives up, knocked away, and a foul. They're going to get Clyde Ricks. And probably the hottest shooter on the floor tonight, Cody Connor, will go to the line for the Tigers. Champion. Shooting two. 140 remaining here in the first half. Go, 
Connor drains the first one. 38-35, the Tigers lead. Second shot, no good. Rebound, Kesterson. Here comes National Park College, an opportunity, trailing just by three. And a whistle. And it looks like it's gonna be, oh, it looks like an official timeout. They were gonna get Weston Church uh, to tie his shoes over on the right-hand side. So a whistle that goes National Park's way as the ball is inbounded over to KJ Quarter. Here come the Nighthawks. Quarter thought about the three. But Cody Connor's got some size on him. Out to Clyde Ricks now at the top of the key for the Nighthawks. Moving it around. Ricks comes up with it. KJ Quarter, long three, yes! That ties the game. Big bucket by Quarter. 105 to play here in the first half. Connor down low, Austin Pike turns, rolls, puts up a shot, and good. The Tigers are the first to 40 tonight. They lead by two. KJ Quarter from downtown drains it. KJ Quarter, a big bucket, and the Nighthawks take the lead. 40 seconds left. The Tigers driving, knocked away by Church. Weston Church to Ricks, over and in. KJ Quarter with the bucket. And the Nighthawks are pulling away here late in the first half, 25 seconds left. This crowd is getting into it here, Nathan. This Nighthawk bench is pumped up too, They're watching their teammates come back on this. Cross court pass, long three, Reed, got it. Tie game, five seconds left. Quarter holding for the final shot, pulls up, off the rim, no good. And at the half, oh man, a long pass. This one's gonna be a good one. We're tied at 43. Anybody's ball game as we go to the end of the first half. What a game, Nathan, what a game. It has been back and forth, back and forth. These teams, you talk about rivalry, uh, there's definitely starting one here in this first half, and I can't imagine how the second half is gonna go. We'll take a break. We're back after this. We're tied at halftime. 43 all. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com. We're the new guy. And just like your athlete, we're looking to be the next rising star here in Arkansas. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash xerosports. Follow us on Twitter at xerosports. And together, we can bring the next generation of Arkansas sports to the communities we all call home. Did you miss part of the broadcast? Do you like what you hear and want to share it with your friends? You can catch this broadcast in its entirety online at xerosports.com. Each day in Arkansas, many athletes and coaches are overcoming the odds and accomplishing great things in their communities. Whether it's a prestigious award, excellent community service, or overcoming a personal challenge. X-Zero Sports wants to recognize the brightest stars in Arkansas by sharing their stories online for the world to enjoy. We call these people X-Zero Heroes, and we believe their stories should be shared with the world. Nominate your X-Zero Hero today by visiting us at xzerosports.com. Here in Arkansas, our greatest resource isn't chicken or rice, cattle or cotton. It's youth. And in central Arkansas, we're brimming with it. And that's the reason we started X-Zero Sports. To bring sports broadcast media coverage to all communities, not just the big ones. Learn more about our mission and our journey at xzerosports.com. At X Zero Sports, we are the next generation of Arkansas sports. We've broken the boundary set by TV and radio to offer a cost free way to catch your favorite games from anywhere in the world. No paywalls, just sports. From local youth organizations to adult athletic leagues and everything in between, we're creating a world where all athletes can be heard. Follow our journey online at xerosports.com.
Do you want to relive the biggest moments from today's game? How about give the gift of sports with an audio copy of today's broadcast? They make great gifts and can ensure your athletes' memories last a lifetime. For more information, call Mark Oliver at 501-617-4106 or find us online at xzerosports.com. You're listening to X Zero Sports, the next generation of Arkansas sports. Broadcasting live worldwide at xzerosports.com. Halftime here from Champion Christian College in Hot Springs alongside Nathan Looper. I'm Mark Oliver. Time now for your featured Nighthawk player of the game. And tonight, for such a big matchup, we've got two. And we'll start with one of your game day takeovers in this one, KJ Quarter. And what a game he's had so far in this one tonight. KJ Quarter is a Hot Springs native. It just felt natural for him to stay right here at home in Hot Springs when he decided to continue his basketball career. Before the game, we had a chance to talk to KJ and get his thoughts on the team and what it's like to play for a school in its first year. And here's your featured Nighthawk player of the game, KJ Corder. Down here on the court with one of our featured Nighthawk players of the game. We're here with KJ Quarter. KJ, uh, tell me a little bit about the decision process for you, you know, a Hot Springs native, and, and making the decision to stay right here in the Spa City and continue your basketball career with a brand new program at National Park College. Um, I wasn't really planning on playing basketball this year, but um, I had uh, I was at National Park for one semester, and Coach Hudnall came up to me and asked me if I wanted to play, so I figured I'd give it another shot. So it's, it's quite possible. Now, we've seen what you can do on the court, and it's phenomenal. You're so fun to watch. You've got great chemistry with your team, but it almost did not happen. So, you know, now that it's here and you're part of this brand-new program, this brand-new team, you guys are making statements, not only here in Garland County, but whenever you guys start traveling across the state of Arkansas, Tell me a little bit about this team and, and, and what it is about the, the, the chemistry with these guys that makes you so good right now. Uh, I guess we all know how each other play. Like We all know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and we play together as a team pretty well. And we like to get up and down the court, which is all we played in high school too. And uh, that's about all I can say. Well, are there any of these guys that maybe you played against during your high school career or maybe uh, uh, during the younger years on the court? Uh, I played against Clyde. Ricks throughout high school and you know I played with Dominique Poindexter and uh, me and Clyde Ricks our, during my year at High Springs me at well High Springs and Hope we were a big uh, cross town rivalry not cross town so you say cross like cross city <laughs> but uh, yeah me and Clyde Ricks used to go at it all right so tell me about this game tonight champion Christian College you guys are looking to make the streak keep it going what's it going to take to to go across town here and, and what could be a rivalry game brewing uh, and get the victory tonight oh we're going to have to play tough this is going to be a physical game and we're going to have to get up and down the court. We're going to have to move the ball. We can't let the ball stick. I mean, most of all, since we're a smaller team, we're going to have to rebound and block out. KJ, anybody you'd like to say hello to who may be watching the broadcast tonight? Uh, say hello to my, my family, man, my friends, uh, and that's about all. Well, congratulations to you on the Nighthawk takeover for tonight's game and being one of our featured players. Good luck tonight. Go Nighthawks. Thank you. One of your featured Nighthawk players of the game, KJ Quarter. And Nathan, th this is a young man that said, you know what, I wasn't sure I was going to play basketball on the college level. And, and you think about the impact he's made for this team and, and how how much of a loss that would be for, for Garland County and people in Hot Springs looking to see great basketball. Yeah, the talent, I mean, the talent he's displayed is, I mean, we, I mean, he's one. He's right there with one of some of our top players on the team. And again, this week, he first half, he leads the team in scoring. He's got a, a couple rebounds. He's got total 17 points right now in this first half. Uh, and uh, Braylon Steen not far behind him with 15. Steen also with three rebounds. So uh, those two uh, leading leading the Nighthawks tonight. And uh, we know that the rest of this team can score. So it's just uh, we got to get them going. We got to get everybody involved. And I think. Uh, that's going to be the key to winning the second half, winning the second half of this, and uh, get some more people involved. Take the pressure off of Steen and off of Porter. Uh, Washington's only scored four points, so uh, definitely uh, 
get the rest of the team going because we know they can light it up when they get hot. We told you we had two featured Nighthawk players of the game. We did not lie. Your other featured Nighthawk player is none other than Seth Duke. Seth Duke traveled a long way to make National Park College his basketball team. And we talked to him before the game and got his thoughts on the season so far. Down here on the court with one of our featured Nighthawk players of tonight's game. We're here with Seth Duke. Seth, what a great start to the year so far. A, a brand new program. Uh, tell us a little bit about your decision process and what it was that made you choose National Park College. Uh, well, I actually came down here. Uh, coach emailed my, my high school coach. I came down here for a tryout, and you know, I liked the coach. I liked the teammates that I had, and coach said uh, he can give me a spot on the team, so I, you know, I thought about my other options and decided to come down here. Brand new program. You guys looking really good so far. Winners of the past two and in very nice fashion as well. Tell me a little bit about the team. This first year squad for the Nighthawks. You guys are making history every single game. And what it's like to play with some of these these players that you may have never shared the court with before. You know, I've only known uh, one player before I came down here. His name is Weston Church. Uh, we were rivals in high school. And, you know, it's a lot of fun playing with these guys, starting things from the ground up. I love every one of them. It's a lot of fun learning with them learning how each other play and that's going to be a good year a lot of great chemistry a lot of great wins what does it feel like to to be the the inaugural season of national park nighthawks basketball and get those wins and and really help build a program from the ground up uh, it's a super cool opportunity you know not very many people get that opportunity to start something from the ground up and you know getting to do it with my teammates my coaches and it's a lot of fun very interesting. Big game tonight, Champion Christian College. Road game for you guys, but it's a maybe a crosstown rivalry that could be brewing. Tell me what it's going to take to get the win tonight. Uh, we're going to have to play together. We're going to have to rely on each other, listen to coach. Um, we can't decide to take it all into our, into our own hands. Uh, you know, just play our game, play defense, uh, rebound. I'll get stops. Seth, congratulations on being the featured Nighthawk player of the game. Is there anybody you'd like to say hello to who may be watching tonight? Uh, I got to give a shout out to my family who came down. Um, I got family in Oklahoma City watching. Give a shout out to Coach Bush and the high school team. They're playing tonight. Good luck to them. Congratulations and go Nighthawks. Yes, sir. Congratulations to Seth Duke and KJ Quarter, your featured Nighthawk players of tonight's game. We'll take a quick break. We're tied at halftime, 43-43. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball live from Hot Springs on XeroSports.com. Hi, we're the new guy, and just like your athlete, we're looking to be the next rising star here in Arkansas. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash xzerosports. Follow us on Twitter, at xzerosports. And together, we can bring the next generation of Arkansas sports to the communities we all call home. Did you miss part of the broadcast? Do you like what you hear and want to share it with your friends? You can catch this broadcast in its entirety online at xzerosports.com. Each day in Arkansas, many athletes and coaches are overcoming the odds and accomplishing great things in their communities. Whether it's a prestigious award, excellent community service, or overcoming a personal challenge. X-Zero Sports wants to recognize the brightest stars in Arkansas by sharing their stories online for the world to enjoy. We call these people X-Zero Heroes, and we believe their stories should be shared with the world. Nominate your X-Zero Hero today by visiting us at xzerosports.com. Here in Arkansas, our greatest resource isn't chicken or rice, cattle or cotton. It's youth. And in central Arkansas, we're brimming with it. And that's the reason we started X-Zero Sports. To bring sports broadcast media coverage to all communities, not just the big ones. Learn more about our mission and our journey at xzerosports.com. At X-Zero Sports, we are the next generation of Arkansas sports. We've broken the boundary set by TV and radio to offer a cost-free way to catch your favorite games from anywhere in the world. No paywalls, just sports. From local youth organizations to adult athletic leagues and everything in between, we're creating a world where all athletes can be heard. Follow our journey online at xzerosports.com. Do you want to relive the biggest moments from today's game? How about give the gift of sports with an audio copy of today's broadcast? They make great gifts and can ensure your athletes' memories last a lifetime. For more information, call Mark Oliver at 501-617-4106 or find us online at xzerosports.com. 
You're listening to X-Zero Sports, the next generation of Arkansas sports. Broadcasting live worldwide at xzerosports.com. Oh, yeah. Back here at Champion Christian College in Hot Springs, National Park Basketball is on the air. XZeroSports.com, that's the place to catch every Nighthawks broadcast all year long. And also, if you missed the game or maybe you tuned in late to the game, we'll have the entire rebroadcast available on YouTube as well as on the website as well. 43-43, Nathan Looper. What a game we had so far in this one. The Tigers start things off here as we open the second half. Quickly will have an out-of-bounds call. It'll stay with the Tigers. Back and forth. That pretty well describes this game so far. Is now down low. Reed's going to kick it up to Williams near the top. Back to Reed. Pargo Williams. And now down on the inside. A shot is up and good. Marquio Duval puts the shot up. And there's the first lead of the second half. It goes to the Tigers. 45-43. Lowell Washington over to Harper. This National Park moves the basketball. Long three, won't fall. Rebound, champion Christian College. 19-12 remaining. Here in the second half. Four-point lead for the Tigers as Lowell Washington's going to put the shot up for two. 47-45, champion Christian College leading by two. There's Trayvon Reed. So he gets it down low. Back up to the top of the key. Tigers looking to move things around here. Reed, long three, jump shot, air ball. Out of bounds. Out of bounds over to National Park College. That was a big turnover. Definitely. He, he, he probably shouldn't have shot from that far back, but he had a wide open shot. You've seen it for both teams, though, Nathan. Just not able to get across the perimeter there. They've had to take some ugly shots. There's a shot from Lowell Washington off the back of the rim. No good. It'll stay with the Nighthawks. Picked up by Harper. Harper, long three. No. They're going to have Harper stepping out of bounds. And the Nighthawks are exchanging glances down on the far end of the court off camera. And <laughs> not sure what they're up against tonight. It's really hard on this court to see where the out of bounds is. I mean, they've got several That is also lines. true. That is also true. Multi-purpose arena. Is that shot by Williams doesn't fall. And it's knocked away. And it'll go to the Tigers. So champion Christian leads 47-45. 17.56 to play in the ball game. Ball is inbounded out to Pargo Williams. Williams near the top of the key. Feeds it out down low to a man and now back over. Across the way, there's Cody Connor. Connor pulls up, shot won't fall. Rebound over to the Nighthawks. Seth Duke leads the way for the boys in gray. Now a long shot, got it. Seth Duke, big bucket. And that's a National Park Nighthawks lead. Big three. In transition, here comes Trayvon Reed and the Tigers. Austin Pike around the top of the key, nearly knocked away. Pike now wide open three, Reed short. Off the front of the rim, no good. And a reach in foul. Personal foul. Number 20. That's going to be charged first. against Reed. I believe that's his first. First personal. First personal. 48 47, National Park leads. Here come the Nighthawks with KJ Quarter. Quarter over to Harper. Long three. Braylon Steen got it. Oh, man, what a big bucket there. The Nighthawks lead by four. Down low, Pike puts up a shot, won't fall. Lowell Washington with the board. Washington coming cross court, nearly knocked away, stolen away. They're fighting for it down on the floor. It's picked up by the Tigers. Trayvon Reed's got a mismatch, but he can't make anything out of it. As he bounced past down low, Pargo Williams lays it in for two. That was the answer the Tigers were looking for, and they pull within two. 
51-49, Nighthawks. Duke over to Harper here on the near sideline. Braylon Steen, turnaround, pull-up jumper, won't fall. Rebound Austin Pike, here come the Tigers. Williams, pull-up shot, got it. And that's good enough to tie the game at 51. Wouldn't have expected anything less out of this matchup. 15.55 to play. Steen to Washington. Washington, wow, what a move. Puts a shot up, it's blocked. In transition, here comes Pargo Williams and the Tigers. And Trayvon Reed looks to slow things down for champion Christian College. Lowell looking for the foul call on that as the ball was obviously knocked away. Long three by Reed, won't fall. KJ Quarter with a big rebound. Pull up shot in the paint, won't fall, but the putback is there, Braylon Steen. Right place, right time, number 24, Braylon Steen. Did it many times as a Brian Hornet. There's a shot up here by Williams too hard and Steen's gonna get the rebound. And now a foul. It's gonna be charged against the Tigers. His second personal team second. I believe they're gonna get Cody Connor on it. 53-51 Nighthawks. We got some substitutions coming in. For champion Christian, Anton Pirtle's coming in. As well as Jelaine Corley. Steen now with 20 points on the night, five rebounds. 15.07 to play in the second half. Ball is inbounded to Harper. Willett and Duke. Seth Duke dribbles against the competition, lays it up and in. Great shot by Duke. Four point lead for the Nighthawks. Pike over to Reed. As the Tigers look for an opening, but that Nighthawks defense is stifling. Now the ball's gonna be knocked away. And they'll get a foul called. They're gonna get Lowell Washington with it. That's a third personal for Lowell. And that's a big deal. Yeah. Austin Pike's gonna put a bucket up there. Two-pointer pulls the Tigers within two. Pike's got 10 on the night. Yeah, another figure, another double figure player for the Tigers here in this 55-53 contest. Trayvon Reed over to Corley. And now Austin Pike. Down low, long three on its way. Guess who, Cody Connor. What a game he's had. Now they'll count it as two. And that'll tie the game at 55. In transition, the Nighthawks looking for an opening. The defense for the Tigers is tightening up. A whistle. Now going to the line will be the Nighthawks. Or no, excuse me, it'll be away from the away from the shot. So inbounding will be National Park College. 13.59 to play. We've got substitutions coming in. Poindexter and Clyde Ricks into the game for National Park. You can expect the defense to pick up with those two in the yes, game. Yes, you can. Yep, it's coming. Aggressive. Oh, yeah, they got it. Inbounding will be Logan Willett. Willett gets it in down low to Washington. Pull up, shot. Won't fall. Braylon Steen coughs it up, and it's picked up by Cody Connor and the Tigers. Now we've got a foul. Very quickly, and that one's going to be charged against the Nighthawks, I believe. Braylon Steen's called for it. I watched, I watched that play the entire way. The uh, Chris, Christian Academy's guard actually forced that foul. He, he, he made that look good. And now inbounding for the Tigers, Cody Connor. He'll get it into Trayvon Reed. All knotted up here. Turnaround jumper, won't fall. Rebound goes to National Park, Clyde Ricks. So here comes number four across the floor. Dressed in their road gray. All the way home is Lowell Washington. And that gives the Nighthawks the lead. 
Connor slows things down, but Clyde Ricks is in his face. Down low, Pirtle. Out to the top, Reed, and now Connor. Connor in traffic. Finds a way to get it in. Impressive. Nighthawks in transition here. Logan Willett drives in. Double teamed, has to get rid of it. Dominique Poindexter calling his offense here as the Tigers are tightening up. Poindexter tries to get it over to Steen. It'll go off the leg of a Tiger and stay with National Park College. 12.49 to play here in the second half. A one-point lead for the Tigers. Poindexter at the top of the key over to KJ Quarter. Quarter dribbles, drives in, it's blocked. Knocked away, stolen away. Here come the Tigers. As Reed goes against Poindexter, a big struggle there on the floor. Now kicked out. Shot up. And a foul. Out of bounds. Or excuse me, out of bounds. It'll go back to National Park. Back and forth we go here in the second half. One point lead for the Tigers. KJ Quarter, number 13 for National Park College. And an out of bounds call called against Poindexter. And Nathan, you're right there, man. You're right there on the sideline. Give me your thoughts. I mean, it's like this foul line is so wide. And uh, I mean, it's hard to, there's not enough room, it seems like, for these guys. They're not used to this sport. It is what it is. A shot up by Austin Pike gets the Tigers out to 60. 60 to 57 with 12 minutes to play. Poindexter over to quarter. Now in low to Steen. Steen turns, puts up a shot, and it won't fall. Now a hard foul. They're going to get KJ Quarter for it. Quarter collapsed and fell down on Trayvon Reed. Quarter's a little bit slow to get up. We're going to make sure he's okay. Personal foul number 13 is second personal, team third. Second personal for KJ Quarter. 60 to 57, champion Christian College with the lead here at home. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning into the broadcast tonight live on YouTube and on xerosports.com. X Hero Sports broadcasting every night hot game this season. 11.50 and counting as the Tigers maintain possession here in the second half. Cross court pass. Shot put up and blocked. Picked up by Poindexter. Here come the Nighthawks. Poindexter's in trouble. He'll dribble out of it. Out to Steen. Puts up a shot. He's fouled. It's been a while since we called Braylon Steen's name offensively. He's second person. But you can never count out number 24. He always seems to be in the right place. He's always there for, you know, the pass or the rebound. Let's get the open shot. In a game where... It could come down to the final seconds where every point may matter. First shot from Steen is no good. 11.33 to play. Nighthawks have missed several free throws in this game and can't have that in these close games. Second shot won't fall either for Steen. That's a heartbreaker right there. Rebound Reed. And here come the Tigers. Timeout champion. There'll be a timeout down on the floor. Champion, champion Christian College wants one. We'll take it with them. 60 to 57. The Tigers lead the Nighthawks. You're watching National Park Nighthawks basketball live from Hot Springs right here on xerosports.com. Here in Arkansas, our greatest resource isn't chicken or rice, cattle or cotton. It's youth. And in central Arkansas, we're brimming with it. And that's the reason we started X-Zero Sports. To bring sports broadcast media coverage to all communities, not just the big ones. Learn more about our mission and our journey at xzerosports.com. 
You're listening to X-Zero Sports, the next generation of Arkansas sports. Broadcasting live worldwide at xzerosports.com. Back here in Hot Springs, the campus of Champion Christian College. Alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. What a game we've had on our hands so far. 60 to 57, the Tigers lead the Nighthawks. Jalen Corley out down low to Pike. And now Cody Connor. Connor from the corner. Shot doesn't fall. Here come the Nighthawks in transition. Big possession here. As Washington looks for a man, finds Seth Duke. Now back to Washington. All the way home, it's blocked away. Beautiful block by Austin Pike. Here come the Tigers. Pike, all the way down low, up and in. Anton Pirtle. So another big bucket, the lead up to five for the Tigers. Screen coming in. Not enough room for Duke to do anything with it. Now it's back to Lowell Washington. Pull up jumper in the paint. Braylon Steen's got it. Nathan, that one was a big one as the Tigers looked like they were starting to pull away. Definitely, definitely. Lead back down to three. Cross court pass to Corley. And now in Pirtle. Takes it, puts it up and good. 64-59, a five point lead for the Tigers. 10.08 to play. Washington from the point, out to Ricks. And Steen. It's knocked away. And a foul. Foul's going to be charged against Connor. And that's a big break for the Nighthawks. They had the opportunity for a fast break and a big bucket. Clyde Ricks to inbound for National Park. Seth Duke with the basketball near the top of the key. Down low, KJ Quarter. Long three. Braylon Steen's got it. And that's a big shot to pull the Nighthawks within two. So they'll give it just a two-pointer for Steen. It's 64-61. Down low, Pike reels in a good pass. Rolls around and in. And here in the second half, the Nighthawks have great shots, Nathan, but the Tigers always find an answer. Yeah, they. Have, I, I don't have the official shooting percentages, but I, I know that the Tigers have shot a lot better than the Nighthawks. Scrum for it on the floor. Now a timeout down on the floor. Pike's going to call a 30-second timeout. We're going to take it with him. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball live from Hot Springs right here on xerosports.com. We're the new guy, and just like your athlete, we're looking to be the next rising star here in Arkansas. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash xzerosports. Follow us on Twitter, at xzerosports. And together, we can bring the next generation of Arkansas sports to the communities we all call home. Did you miss part of the broadcast? Do you like what you hear and want to share it with your friends? You can catch this broadcast in its entirety online at xzerosports.com. 66-61. The Tigers lead by five, 9-13 to play. As the Tigers inbound the basketball here, looking for a big win at home against the new kid on the block, the National Park Nighthawks. Ball gets back to the top of the key, Trayvon Reed, down low, Pirtle. And then down low, the shot is blocked and picked up by the Nighthawks here. In transition, Lowell Washington puts a shot up, nope. And now the putback is good. One way or another, Washington was gonna get it done and he did it big. I watch him and Steen, they never give up on those balls. The rebound, the offensive rebounding is excellent on this team. Yeah, very great leadership there. Pike, line drive, long three, won't fall. And KJ Corder with a big rebound. Down low, Braylon Steen. Steen puts a shot up, it's knocked away. Picked up the putback, no. 
Austin Pike with the rebound. Here come the Tigers. Trayvon Reed down low. The shot is up, and now they're fighting for it. Here comes Quarter. KJ Quarter all the way home, lays it in for two. And the lead only one for the Tigers, who look stunned. And for either team, we've seen it all night long. Big leads erased to nearly nothing. Yeah, this is going to be a, a fight to the end, you can tell. 7.50 left in this one. And is that enough? The question we start to ask here in the second half. A block and a foul, I believe. We'll see who it's called on. Lowell Washington. That's his fourth personal. That's dangerous. There is no one on this bench like Lowell Washington. Coach is going to have to pull him out for a little bit. To I guess he's going to leave him in. He's going to leave him in. He needs him too bad right now. Shot is up and good for Pargo Williams. And it's a two-point lead. 67-65, Tigers. 7.44 to play. Pargo Williams, second shot, good. Free throws are the difference tonight. Uh, Christian Academy is hitting theirs, and we've missed at least six. 68-65, Tigers. Quarter is going to get knocked away. Clyde Ricks looking for Washington. He wasn't there. And now a big fast break opportunity down low. Williams shot is up and good. A mismatch offensively, a miscommunication, and it ended with a Tigers bucket. Five point lead for champion Christian College, 7-13 to play. Quarters calling his offense, looking for some help as Jarvis Ricks finds Clyde Ricks. Over to Quarter at the top of the key. Quarter driving against Reed, puts a shot up in traffic, it won't fall. Austin Pike with another big rebound. Here come the Tigers. Cross court pass over to Pike, and they'll slow things down with time on their side. Down low, Corley. Shot, got it. A big bucket there. Coach Hudna wants a timeout. Timeout down on the floor. We're going to hold it right here as Coach Hudnall has an opportunity to talk things over there with his team. Biggest lead of the night for champion Christian College. And while we have this moment, I'd like to thank some of our National Park Nighthawk basketball sponsors this year. Hot Springs Baptist Church, Child Care Aware, Diamond Gymnastics, Levi Physical Therapy, and the NPC Foundation. And also, don't forget, there's perks to being a Nighthawk Club member. Come see us over at National Park College for more information on how you can support not only this great men's program, but the great women's program here at National Park College as well. And what a great first year it's been already. It's been a very exciting first year. You know, this is their third third act scheduled game. You know, they got to play two uh, two games that weren't scheduled and got to play against some really tough opponents. Uh, got to, I really think that helped them uh, to start this season to, to kind of spill out where they were. And, uh, you know, the, every game we see them, they come, they're gelling, they're getting better, playing together. And uh, But they've come across a tough team here tonight at Champion College, and it's going to be a fight to try to get out of here with a win. Yeah, this is going to be a game that everybody's going to be coming to. This is not the first time they'll play, or not the, the only time that they'll play this season either. Their next game is actually going to be at uh, Bank of the Ozarks Arena. So Yeah, and they're going to definitely need the bigger space after they know what these two teams are capable of. What, what a showdown that's going to be as we open the new year. Braylon Steen with a put up and good. And that's the kind of leadership that Coach Hudnall can rely on out of his Nighthawks. Braylon Steen getting it done, cutting the lead to five. We've got to have those high percentage shots like that with this game as close as it is. A shot up and good. Austin Pike with the bucket. The lead back to seven for the Tigers. Under six minutes to play. A pass. It's going to sail out of bounds. And it's going to go to the Tigers. Champion, number 35, 5.51 to play. Oh, yeah. 
and set to inbound. Number 20, Trayvon Reed. Reed gets it inbounds. Here come the Tigers. Down the floor they go. Down into the corner. Pargo Williams at the top of the key. Nowhere to go for Lane Waddle. Back to Williams. Williams, a little finesse move, and it won't fall. He'll get his own rebound. And now finally, coming up with it's Braylon Steen. And a whistle. And an offensive foul oh, against Number Steen. Four. That's his fourth personal defense. Steen, very lucky not to get a technical foul on that. He, he threw the ball back at the ref, and uh, the ref kept his composure, thank goodness, uh, and didn't call him for that technical. It's tough out there. It's a tough atmosphere tonight on the floor. No doubt about it. Seven point lead for the Tigers who are set to inbound. And the officials have to constantly remind everybody where the, uh, the out of bounds line is on that far sideline. You can't really see it on the no, camera. The, the stands are right on top but, of but it. The stands, everybody's shoes, everybody's feet are on the out of bounds marker. And that just tells you so many people coming out for this matchup here. And they've got him lined up all the way to the marker. At the line to shoot is Pargo Williams, number 25 for the Tigers. First shot good. Lead is eight. I believe that's the biggest of the night for champion Christian. Jarvis Ricks takes a rest for National Park. As Williams stands at the line ready to deliver another. Shot doesn't fall. And Dusty Kesterson with the rebound. Here come the Nighthawks. They got a lot of ground to make up here. Washington drives it home, puts it up and good. And that's exactly how they're going to get it done. They got to play defense, though. Small ball and defense will go a long way in this one. 4.55 to play. Austin Pike looking to slow things down. See him taking his time at the top of the key against double zero Kesterson. Fed in down low, it's poked away. And out of bounds, it'll stay with the Tigers. Kesterson takes a rest. Here come the Tigers. Fed in down low, shot is put up and good. Lane Waddle for two. Lead back up to, to eight for the Tigers. There's a reach in foul, charged against DeVoyle. Technical foul called on, uh, who is that, uh, 35? Number 35, DeVoyle. DeVoyle. Yeah. He got mad, he got mad at that foul call and then he uh, bumped into Seth Duke. Things heating up. We talked about could this be, could this be the next best thing, the big rivalry, the big showdown that we may see as these programs meet for the first time. And it's lived up to it so far. Kind of fortunate on that. Seth Duke is one of the better free throw shooters on the team too. Yes, so. exactly. And when you're trailing by eight, it seems like it's just the right place at the right time. Got to have these free throws here at the end. I know they've missed several, but and that, of course I say that, and he misses the first one. First shot too hard for Duke. 4:31 remaining. Duke misses the second one. New attempt is good. He misses both of them, and you can see the players—they're jawing at each other. I think the official wants to say something here. They're gonna let it go. Yeah, there's a They're lot. Play of, it out. There is a lot of trash there's talking. There's a lot right of now. trash talk right now. There it is. There's another one. It's against the Tigers. Now the technical foul on number two. Seth oh, Duke. now they're gonna get Seth Duke. So they got the second guy. There was an exchange after the free throws. A Tigers player said something. Yeah, he. And obviously, Duke they caught missed Duke both retaliating. Of them. They caught Duke retaliating. Duke missed both of them, and a Tigers player had something to say about it. Yeah. The officials are getting heated here. 
Braylon Steen and Lowell Washington just trying to calm everything down. So it sounds like they're going to pull the technical foul back. And it appears maybe they saw both players in the wrong. Yeah, that was a good correction by the referees to, to not call that. So the ball's inbounded to Clyde Ricks after a little bit of uh, domestic troubles. Ricks driving to the hoop. Puts a shot up, blocked hard, a foul. No, a block out of bounds. No contact. Ricks looks to get it inbounds to Steen. Steen blocked hard. He'll draw the foul. Braylon Steen to the line. 4.19 to play. Number zero. Steen hasn't had his best night from the free throw line either, but an opportunity to ride it here. You might get lucky and get a block on Clyde Ricks, but you're not going to get a block on Braylon Steen. First shot from Steen. Good. 77 to 70. The Tigers lead by seven. Steen at the line for one more. Bucket. Big clutch free throws from Steen. 4.15 to play. Trayvon Reed across the timeline for the Tigers. Guarded heavily by Clyde Ricks, the defensive mastermind. Now back to Austin Pike. And a reach in foul, they're gonna get Seth Duke. Personal foul. That's gonna be Seth two. Duke's fourth, I believe. They're running out of fouls to give. Champion will be shooting the and now one. I believe we have the one and one in session here. And at the line is Austin Pike. Pike's bucket's good. One more for Pike. Got it. Lead back to eight for the Tigers here at home. Under four minutes to play. Backcourt violation! Backcourt violation called against Lowell Washington. And boy, these calls are tough. I was saying this gym has so many markings on it. Right, because they play multi-sports here. You know, they, they, they have the, the college team playing here, the high school ball playing here. I believe they also do volleyball in here. And there's markings for everything. Right. Williams in traffic, lays it up and in for two. Double-digit lead for the Tigers, their biggest tonight. Washington bringing it home, puts it in for two. Mr. Consistency, Lowell Washington with a good shot. And now a late whistle. A lot of fouls here at the end. It's a late whistle called against Clyde Ricks. That's going to send the Tigers to the line for a one and one. So Trayvon Reed goes to the line. He's got an opportunity to kick it all the way back to a double digit lead. First shot is good. And still some words being exchanged. Off camera, <laughs> Seth Duke and Pargo Williams. Pargo's over here jawing with the Nighthawk bench as well, trying to Right next get to an mouth. official. Yeah. Right next to him. Second shot doesn't fall. Braylon Steen with the board. Here come the Nighthawks. Pull up three. Steen got it. Steen trying lead to the six. Single handedly bring his team back here. And he can do it. He can absolutely do it. This one's far from over. Williams against Quarter. As Williams scoots away, the Nighthawks are going to have to force the Tigers to take a bad shot. Pike's shot doesn't fall. And a foul. The wow. out of bounds. And wow. Coach Hudnall is furious. Technical foul. And a technical foul on. on Coach Hudnall. On the Nighthawks. Boy, those whistles are blowing tonight. 
It's making for a really great crowd setting, undoubtedly, here at Champion Christian. Coach Hudnall furious about the out of bounds call and then he's teed up for it. And here come the teammates just off the camera, bailing out their coach and giving them a high five saying, we're with you coach. We're with you every step of the way. Bucket for Williams. 83-76. Two for two for Williams. Now the lead is back to eight. Two fifty-five to play in this one. And you can still see the players kind of jawing at each other. Yeah, it's it's gotten really emotional here towards the end. They need to open the windows in here, <laughs> get some breathing room going. Reminds me of like you know when the, like Razorbacks used to play in the old Barnhill Arena, as small as it was, and it was a, just a hostile environment. That's what this. There's going to be a push foul called against Braylon Steen. A foul against Steen. Steen was looking for a travel call on Pirtle. And now in the double bonus, they're guaranteed two. Kesterson's going to check in for Steen. Yeah, that's Coach Hudnall just kind of throws up his hands like, what are we supposed to do? 84-76. The Tigers are going to try to extend here. At the line, Pirtle puts a shot up. It's good. It'll be interesting to see how the officiating goes when they play in a bigger arena and a more neutral arena. It, well, I'm not trying to say the officiating's one-sided, but it sure has seemed like the calls have gone a lot more I'll, Christian's way. I'll say this, no matter which team falls tonight, the case for revenge at Bank of the Ozarks Arena in January is gonna be monumental. <laughs> Fighting for it down on the floor. Pull-up shot, won't fall for the Nighthawks. Kesterson with the basketball, drives, puts it up, no. Now Pirtle with the rebound, here come the Tigers. 2.22 remaining. Nine point lead for champion Christian. Trayvon Reed basketball out to Corley. Or excuse me, Williams. And Rick's trying to knock it away. Knocked away off of the foot, but reeled in by Pirtle. There's Clyde Ricks being Clyde Ricks, and now there's a foul called against Ricks. Personal foul, number four, his fourth personal team Number four for Clyde Ricks. And now back to the line, probably the most dangerous shooter tonight, Cody Connor of the Tigers. First shot good. The lead is back to 10. I'm counting 21 fouls called on the Nighthawks tonight. Uh, Tristan Academy not even with half of that. A lot of adversity on the court tonight for these Nighthawks. Technical foul. And now a technical foul. It's going to be charged against National Park. The hole just gets deeper. Timeout, Nighthawks. Timeout down on the floor. National Park wants one. We're going to take it with them. 86-76, the Nighthawks are trailing. And we're back after this. National Park College Nighthawks basketball. Live on xerosports.com. At X Zero Sports, we are the next generation of Arkansas sports. We've broken the boundary set by TV and radio to offer a cost-free way to catch your favorite games from anywhere in the world. No paywalls, just sports. From local youth organizations to adult athletic leagues and everything in between, we're creating a world where all athletes can be heard. Follow our journey online at xzerosports.com. Back here at Champion Christian College alongside Nathan Looper, I'm Mark Oliver. 10 point lead for the Tigers in this one as Cody Connor is gonna drain his second shot. 
And in that timeout, Coach, H Coach Hudnall huddled up his team and said, hey, you're not going to win them all. Go out there and have fun. And we've got these guys up next again. That's right. It's just January one. 2nd, ladies and gentlemen. Bank of the Ozarks Arena in Hot Springs. Formerly Summit Arena. The big gym downtown. And the matchup is going to be sweet. Shot won't fall. Rebound Nighthawks. Here comes Clyde Ricks. The lead is 11 for the Tigers. Quarter wrapped up. Now Washington takes it all the way home for two. Nine point lead for the Tigers, 140 remaining. Champion Christian just looking to do some ball management, some time management, and skate away with the win. And now a reach in foul. That's going to be Seth Duke's fifth. Yeah, I believe that's his fifth. He's out. Going to the line will be Austin Pike Champion. to shoot two. Maybe that's his fourth. He's not coming out, so he, I guess he. Yeah, it must be his fourth. Now he's coming out now. Weston Church is going to check in alongside Wo uh, Logan Willett. Eighty-seven to seventy-eight, the Tigers leading here big. Shot won't fall. Rebound goes to Willett. Here come the Nighthawks. Down low, Weston Church. Church kicked out. Clyde Ricks, three, got it. They're not done yet, Nathan. Nope, Lead down to six. 118 to play. A scrum for it down on the floor. Knocked out of bounds. Out of bounds. To stay with the champion Christian Timeout College champion. Tigers. Timeout down on the floor. We're going to keep it right here. 87 81, six point game. And no matter how big the lead's gotten, Nathan, it, it never really felt like it was over. Now these these two teams, like I said in the beginning of the game, they're they're pretty evenly matched, um, and a lot of these kids know each other too. I mean, I saw them talking before the game. Uh, a lot of these Hot Springs kids and local that you know they know some of these other guys on the Christian Academy. So that's another part of this uh, uh, rivalry, you know, that they you know comes from high school and they don't let go of it you know see the guys that they used to play against and compete against and they're out here again getting to do it and it's just uh it's just gonna happen i mean it's just part of being a competitor so while we have this time out we'd like to thank some of our national park night hot basketball sponsors hot springs baptist church child care aware diamond gymnastics levi physical therapy and the npc foundation 116 to play and a six point lead for the champion Christian Tigers. They've got the rock set to inbound. National Park coming back when this team and they've got two of their starters fouled out of the game. So a lot of heart. Inbounding will be number 20, Trayvon Reed. Reed gets it into Pike. Now in down low, stolen away, Harper. And a foul. As going down is going to be Cody Connor. And I believe his face hit the floor, Nathan. He's down. Yeah, he's he might have twisted an ankle or something. The, um, while the training staff's going to come out and take a look at Connor, we're going to take a break. 87-81 champion Christian Leeds. We're back after this. This is Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com. Resource isn't chicken or rice, cattle or cotton. It's youth. And in central Arkansas, we're brimming with it. And that's the reason we started X Zero Sports to bring sports broadcast media coverage to all communities, not just the big ones. Learn more about our mission and our journey at xerosports.com. You're listening. 87 81 as we come out of here. Connor's helped off the court, and we hope that he's going to be okay. At the line is Harper. First shot good. Is now the comeback. This time is beginning to run out, but here at the line, Harper delivers a couple of clutch baskets. 
Four point game, 111 remaining. And there's the swarm and a timeout. The Tigers are forced to call a timeout. No, and they'll call a foul. Wow. A foul call instead? He had nowhere to go. And there was, he was trying to call timeout and they called a foul. That's his fifth personal. Clyde Ricks picks up his fifth. Champion shooting the double bonus. I mean, it's right there on film, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's calling timeout. They didn't grant it. 87-83. And now at the line is going to be Trayvon Reed. Some very, very interesting calls here. Uh. Reed's first is good. 107 remaining. The lead is five for the Tigers. This one here is pretty crucial. And he missed it. He missed it. Rebound quarter. Here come the Nighthawks. One minute to play. Harper back out top of the key. Long three. Got it. What a shot. And down to two points. And now whistles. Is that a technical foul? Is that another technical foul? Is that another? A foul called on the celebration, perhaps? I'm not sure what he, I could not, I couldn't understand what he said. With 58 seconds left, it's a two point game. Williams, cross court, lost it out of bounds. And a turnover to the Nighthawks. Can you believe it? This crowd is going crazy. This is with three starters fouled out of the game. They've made this comeback. Unbelievable. Full timeout. A full timeout. We're going to hold it right here. Why go anywhere? This place is electric. 53.3 seconds left. The Tigers led by as many as 11 late in the second half. With two minutes left in the game, the Nighthawks looked like they were just gonna have to pack it up and go home. And this bench has come off and electrified uh, their, their players, their teammates, the coach, and the crowd, backing up their coach after getting three technical fouls called, and they've overcome that. Unbelievable. I think back to that timeout that Coach Hudnall called after the tech, after he got called for the tech, and said, man, just whatever. We're on the road, right? Yep. Just go out there and have fun. That's what this team did, and they erased an 11-point deficit down to two. What a game. What a game. 88-86, the Tigers lead by two. Like I said, never really felt like it was over no, it was. at any point in this game. Inbounds pass comes to the Nighthawks. Here comes National Park Jarvis Ricks. Ricks guarded by Corley over to Harper. Now Willett. Looking for an inbound. Willett, long shot. No, won't fall. Rebound, Tigers. The shot is knocked away. Here come the Tigers in transition, Corley. Looking to slow things down, 28 seconds left. Fargo Williams. Williams loses the ball. And now a whistle. No call a foul on National Park. That was a, Let's see who they get it on. I believe they got Jarvis Ricks. And now going to the line. Will be the Tigers in the double bonus. This is huge. 21.9 seconds remain. And at the line will be the champion Christian Tigers, Pargo Williams. This crowd is loud. First shot, no good. He has been pretty clutch, and that's his first miss from the free throw line tonight. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's the crowd. Maybe it's the, the, the noise here in a very small gymnasium in Hot Springs. But as electric as this has been, they can hear him all the way downtown tonight. They're just going to allow Nash Park to get this rebound if he misses. We'll take it. Shot is up and good. Still a one possession game. And here come the Nighthawks. And a timeout. Well, hang on a second. The officials are, okay, talking something over the, the scoring table here. Here's the inbounds. Ricks 
down low, Harper. Ricks long, three, got it! Got it! Jarvis Ricks with the clutch basket! We're tied here at Champion Christian. Pierre Adair here on the bench, charging up his team. What a game. Unbelievable comeback. I mean, what is going on here? Three of your starters are, are fouled out. And they've just gotten, I told you, at one point in this game, they were going to get hot. And they have gotten hot. I made a note at about 7 minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the second half. And I was like, yeah, is that enough time? <laughs> is that enough time to decide this thing? There's 11.5 seconds left. A turnover would be huge right here if the Nighthawks could somehow force a turnover. I'll tell you this much. Hot Springs is glad to have these two teams. What a showdown. Here we go. Inbounding will be the Tigers. And now another timeout. Coach Hudnall wants it. We're going to hold it right here. We're not going anywhere. That was probably one of those, uh, look at what the defense, look at what they're trying to play, they're trying to run, and now they're gonna probably reset their defense to uh, try to take advantage and try to get a turnover here. The thing about can't, timeouts is you can't take them with you. Yeah, and you can't foul. You just cannot foul here. Uh, if you do foul, make sure it's a two-pointer. <laughs> make sure make sure you have a chance to, win the, or to tie the game or win the game at the end. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning into the broadcast on this one. But just in case you're watching this on the rebroadcast and you're like, oh man, I missed a good one. Guess what? The next game we've got, next game on tap is this same matchup, January 2nd at Bank of the Ozarks Arena here in Hot Springs. With 11.5 seconds left, here we go. We're all tied at 89. Austin Pike will inbound for the Tigers. Willett and Ricks ready to swarm Williams. Inbounds out to Reed. Eight seconds left. They're gonna try for the last shot. Reed down low, Pike. At the buzzer. We're going to overtime. What a game. And we'll take a break here as we get set for overtime. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on xerosports.com. Arkansas, our greatest resource isn't chicken or rice, cattle or cotton. It's you. And in central Arkansas, we're brimming with it. And that's the reason we started X Zero Sports to bring sports broadcast media coverage to all communities, not just the big ones. Learn more about our mission and our journey at xerosports.com. You're listening to X Zero Sports, the next generation of Arkansas sports, broadcasting live worldwide at X Zero Sports. Two halves wasn't enough to decide this one, Nathan Looper. We're going to overtime, tied at 89. Five minutes on the clock. This game started off very back and forth. It did. The it biggest did. lead for a long time was only three. National Park had it many times. National Park led by as many as seven in this one. The Tigers have led by as many as 11. And now we have overtime to try to decide it here. It felt like an overtime game right right from the start, and it's it's been promised. It's delivered everything we expected. Hurdle will be going against KJ Quarter. At center court. Now remember, fouls, yeah, they've been a thing in this one. And the officials, <laughs> they're just as heated as anybody. Yeah, this crew is uh, feeling the intensity for sure. Controlled by the Tigers and a foul. 
Personal foul. Corder got a little too physical on that one. Maybe overdid it. And now we'll start things off with the foul. Okay. Now the foul's reset as we begin the overtime period. So that double bonus is gone. Yeah. That's a that's a big factor. You just play now you can play hard defense. You don't have to worry about the foul shots. Just Lowell Washington's gonna check in for Weston Church. And here we go. Overtime underway. All tied up at 89. Trayvon Reed over to Williams. Fargo up to the top of the key. Driving against Jarvis Ricks. Kicks it out down low. Long three on its way. Too short. Won't fall. Put back good. So the lead is two for the Tigers. Nighthawks basketball as Lowell Washington is fouled. No, excuse me, reached in and touched. No foul. Kicks back out to Harper. Harper drives in, in traffic, layup. Got it. Tied at 91. Harper's been clutch here in the late, late in this game. He didn't yeah, come he, in until the second half. He but, came but. in, shot some free throws, hit a clutch three. He's been huge. Reed, bounce pass over to Williams. Now back Reed, top of the key. Guarded heavily by Harper. Williams looking to slow things down. 3.50 to play in overtime. Williams, long shot, won't fall. Pirtle with the putback, no. And then finally, he's gonna get it in for two. 93-91, Pirtle's bucket's good. We've got a whistle. Oh, we got some uh, yeah, moisture timeout. on the floor. Official timeout. They've had to do that a lot tonight. Yeah, it's, it's like you said earlier, it, the windows need to open the windows. It's so humid in here. And Very physical game. Can't count how many times a player has ended up on the floor tonight. 93-91. And some of these players, you know, they fouled out, but you see Braylon Steen down here. He's right next to us at the booth. Coaching his teammates. And he's, he's assistant coaching right here, and that's exactly the kind of leadership that this team gains from an athlete like that. He's joined by Seth Duke down here. They've got three coaches down here on the bench. 93-91, <laughs> the Tigers lead. Willett, bounce pass in the quarter. Long three, Harper. Too hard, won't go. Rebound Tigers. Good shot, good look by Harper. Just hit the front of the rim. 3.15 to play in overtime. Over to Williams, Pargo spins, drives in, puts it up for two. Two possession game. Here come the Nighthawks behind Jarvis Ricks. Long three, too hard, won't fall, and there's Pike with a rebound. Not a good three right there. No. They really want to set your offense up and not take that quick shot. Defense has to step up big right here. Williams down low. And now the ball is knocked away, and it's picked up by National Park. KJ Quarter is going to come up with it, control it. Here come the Nighthawks. Quarter drives, puts up a shot. Good! KJ Quarter, one of your featured Nighthawk players of the game with a big basket. The lead is two. 2.22 to play. Hurdle goes to the basket. He's going to lose it. A foul. That was, a, that was a clean steal. They called the foul after the ball was knocked away. Jarvis Ricks is called. Hurdle is now at the line for the double bonus. First shot good. 2.17 to play. It's a three-point game. Number two. No good. Rebound Willett. Now here comes Quarter in the Nighthawks. Lay into the hoop. There's a foul. And KJ Quarter is going to go to the line. I was worried they might call the charge on that play, but luckily the Quarter got the benefit of the doubt. Quarter's taken a couple of lumps tonight. He sure has. You can kind of see him there on the far side of the screen. He's taking a beating out there. 
He's been he's been feeling down on his legs a couple times I've noticed too. So could yeah. be a little bit of a. Yeah, he's going to be bruised for sure. No more games in 2017 after this one. He'll have an opportunity to heal up a little bit before these two go right back at it. January 2nd. Free throw shooting has just been not good for the Nighthawks tonight. No, not at all. Lane Patterson, champion ball. So the shot doesn't count anyway. Quarter couldn't get any of them to fall. Now the Tigers with a huge opportunity. 2.08 remaining. In a three point lead. Trayvon Reed with the basketball. Here come the Tigers. Guarded by Harper is Reed. Kicks it out. Waddle, and now a travel call. Wasn't able to pull it in. Number five, Lane Waddle. And with 152 remaining, the Nighthawks get it back. Jarvis Ricks over to Logan Willett. And now they'll feed it to Poindexter. Moving it around all the way home. Low Washington for two. And the lead is one for the Tigers of champion Christian. Low Washington with 14 points in the second half. I told you he, he, he needed to step up, and he has. All with four fouls. You see him working on Quarter's leg over here. I, I think he may be having some cramping issues. Yeah, he's, he's taking a beating for sure. Hurdle down low, back out to Waddle. Waddle in traffic, shot up and good. Good shot by Waddle. Three point lead for champion Christian. 105 to play in overtime. Out, long three. And an out of bounds call again the same side of the Nathan, court every time. I, I just don't see it. I'm not either. I, I just don't see We're right in front of it. I didn't see him even close to this purple line here, so. Nevertheless, it's Tigers basketball. <laughs> 103 to play. That was right. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking there. Um, number tw Trayvon God, number Trayvon Reed. He just shoved uh, the Nighthawk player as the pass was coming in, right in front of the referee. So Logan Willett's going to inbound for the Nighthawks, who trail by three. 103 to play here in this first overtime. <laughs> Willett inbounds to quarter. KJ takes his time. We're under a minute to play. Porter, long three, Willett got it! Logan Willett ties the game with a tray. His first attempt of the night. All tied up at 98, here come the Tigers. Trayvon Reed with 40 seconds left. Reed kicks it out down low, and now they're just trying to kill some time off the clock here. Shot clock down to eight, knocked away. Picked up by the Nighthawks, and now another turnover. 22 seconds left. Reed controls it for the Tigers. Now Williams. They can hold They're for the hold final for the shot. shot again. Same thing they did in the first, third, second half. Five seconds left, Williams. At the overtime buzzer. No good! Did you say rivalry? Let's do two, Nathan Looper. Let's do two. You didn't want to go home tonight, did you? 98 to 98. Shout outs to the lovely Mrs. Hannah Oliver tuning into tonight's broadcast. Sorry, dear. Husband's going to be a little bit late tonight. Hey, hey, they see me for the joy. I don't know why you drink it. 
We'll keep it right here. And while we've got a moment, let's talk about those Night Hot basketball sponsors. Hot Springs Baptist Church, Child Care Aware, Diamond Gymnastics, Levi Physical Therapy, NPC Foundation, and X-Zero Sports, the next generation of Arkansas sports. Don't worry. If your friends are missing this one, the rebroadcast will be up on the website, xerosports.com, also on our YouTube channel and on Facebook at facebook.com slash xerosports. 98 to 98 here in double overtime. You know, towards the end of the second half, if you would have said any of the, either of these teams were going to score 100 points tonight, now it looks like they both are. So, in, in a season where literally every game is history, we're talking about the very first showdown between what could be a longtime rivals. It's going to be an epic one. <laughs> these kids are making memories tonight. So here we go once again, Pirtle against KJ Quarter. We've seen this before. And the tip is controlled by the Nighthawks. Five more minutes to go here in second overtime. Washington to the hoop, it won't fall. Trayvon Reed with the rebound, here come the Tigers. The Nighthawks could just get a lead. They've been coming from behind all night long. Pike, pull up jumper blocked by Washington. Pike, able to put it up, no good. Rebound goes to Quarter. KJ Quarter with the ball. Quarter, all the way home, no. Rebound, Pirtle. They're making good drives. It's just the ball, the balls aren't falling here and early in the second overtime. Just can't finish. 4-12 to play here in double overtime. 98 all. Who will be the first to 100? Charge foul. Logan Willett got pancaked. Took one for the team. See if the Nighthawks can take a lead here. And probably my favorite part about this, Nathan, is all the Nighthawks on the bench who have fouled out. <laughs> And they didn't bring the cheer squad tonight. No, they did not. They didn't or have to. At least to. they didn't think they did, but they <laughs> did. <laughs> Braylon Steen and Seth Duke. These guys are funny and also great leaders. Definitely. I mean, calling out, you know, support for their players, telling them what to do. Like you said, it, it, it helps having those third, fourth coaches, you know, because they can see things that these players can't see going on behind them. 98 all. Nighthawks basketball and a slip and a foul. Two shot foul, I believe he said. Every other play, Nathan, it feels like somebody's out there wiping up the court. The moisture, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's dangerous athletically. Big free throws right here. You saw a quarter kind of getting some injuries worked out. Of course, he's back on the floor. Jarvis Ricks took a tumble there, but now he's at the line. When was the last time the Nighthawks held a lead? It's been a while. They could start right now. First shot by is. Ricks is good. And now Ricks is at the line. Will he get the Nighthawks to triple digits? Yes. Here come the Tigers in transition. They haven't trailed in a long time. 198. Pike down low against Jarvis Ricks. They're dancing. Put up shot and a foul. No. A travel call. Going back to the Nighthawks. That defense by Lowell Washington, he did not move. He Every time that he turned to take a shot, Lowell was right there and it caused him to travel. Straight up shook him. Here's Logan Willett down low. Kicks it out, it's knocked away. And now fighting for it. Coming up with it will be the Tigers. Austin Pike. Williams drives, spins, puts up a shot. No whistle. Personal foul. Or I guess there was one. Personal. 
So there's another foul out for the Nighthawks. That's a uh, Jarvis Ricks is out of the game. And he picked up those five fouls quickly. He did. It's not a team that's super deep to begin with. And now the man is going to be Weston Church to fill the gap. It just shows you, like like we talked about, the depth, the depth though, the talent on this team. Uh, three start, three starters are gone. Uh, the, the bench players have just come in and, and motivated and stepped up and, and made some big time shots. Williams bucket is up and good. The lead is down to one. Breland <laughs> Steen right next to us. <laughs> we still gonna win. We're tied. Timeout champion. It's a full champion Christian wants a timeout. We're gonna take it with him. We're all knotted up at a hundred. And who knows when this one's gonna end? You're watching National Park Nighthawks basketball live from Hot Springs on XZeroSports.com. Each day in Arkansas, many athletes and coaches are overcoming the odds and accomplishing great things in their communities. Whether it's a prestigious award, excellent community service, or overcoming a personal challenge. X Zero Sports wants to recognize the brightest stars in Arkansas by sharing their stories online for the world to enjoy. We call these people X Zero Heroes, and we believe their stories should be shared with the world. Nominate your X Zero Hero today by visiting us at XZeroSports.com. You see the schedule on your screen right there, Champion College, they're next. January 2nd, Bank of the Ozarks Arena. And after the way this game has been played, you have to think, they may fill those stands. They may fill those stands completely. Hot Springs has been looking for something like this, Nathan. And they've got it. Not only do they have the Nighthawks and how successful they've been, they've got a rivalry to go with it. So 319 remaining coming out of the timeout here in second overtime. And now a whistle, and it's against the Nighthawks. Offensive foul, Offensive foul will 13, be charged. Third personal. KJ Corder is signaled. I didn't see anyone over there by him. It's hard to see, though, with the yeah. players on this side of the bench. Didn't see it. Just going to have to take their word for it. 319 remaining. We're tied at 100. And bounds, champion ball. The Tigers have the basketball. 317 remaining in double overtime. Inbounds picked up by Pike. Pike spins in traffic, puts it up and good. Austin Pike regains the lead for the champion Christian Tigers. 12 points for Pike here in the second half. Quarter against Pike. Now over to Lowell Washington. Pull up jumper. In and out. Yeah, won't fall, tough basket. Trayvon Reed with the basketball, leading by two. 2.50 to play. Reed down low, Williams. Williams against Church, puts a shot up, won't fall. Pulled away by Washington. And an offensive foul charged. So many of those tonight. Technical foul, number 12. And now Lowell Washington's gonna pick up a technical. The Nighthawks really can't afford to lose anybody else at this point. And I believe they just did. One oh two to a hundred as Pargo Williams stands at the line for some extra shots. Two forty to play in double overtime. Williams misses the first one. The player is still kind of jawing at each other, but they're making sure the officials aren't watching this time. Second shot good. Still a one possession game. And then the champion, Anton Pirtle is going to check in. Anton Pirtle. 103 to 100. Second overtime seems to be 
twice as long as the first one. Yeah. A lot of stoppage in play. What a long five minutes. And hey, here come the towel boys again. Doing an excellent job tonight. That young man has had to work hard tonight. Nice to see the officials helping out as well. 2.40 remaining here in the double overtime period. As everybody gets set here, Reed's going to inbound for the Tigers, gets it into Williams. And a whistle. Forced turnover there by Logan Willett. Great job. It'll go to the Nighthawks here. KJ Quarter to bring it up. Quarter, Willett, Church, Harper, and Kesterson on the floor. Long three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Church. Quarter with an opportunity. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. KJ Quarter takes another one for the team. I just can't get over this, these uh, bench players for National Park, how, how they've stepped up. What impressive depth. All five of them could be starters. You can only start five, but... And National Park, it's more about who the finisher is. And off the bench, it's any one of these individuals who can come up big. Quarter second shot, good. It's a one point game. 103 to 102. Here come the Tigers with 215. Williams drives a shot up off the glass, no good. Rebound goes to Waddle. And now a bucket. Hurdle using his size to his advantage there. Nighthawks basketball trailing by three. Under two minutes to play as quarter drives. Out. Long shot. Won't fall. Rebound Tigers. Nearly knocked away defense by Willett. By Willett there. Yeah, good defense. 105-102. Harper driving against Reed. Reed breaks away to the hoop and a foul. No, no, bounds. no, no out of bounds, no call. Kesterson. Oh, got very fortunate on that We're one. So that fortunate right definitely there. Definitely been a foul call. And Coach Hudnall, you see him right there on the case, smiling. He's like, we dodged a bullet. 127 remaining. It's a three point game. Long three, Reed won't fall. Weston Church with the rebound. Tried to bank that one in. I don't think he called glass. KJ quarter now. Long three, no. Rebound, Pike. Knocked away. Diving on the floor. And it's Nighthawks basketball. The Nighthawks will have it beneath their own hoop. 110 to play. And more appearances by the towel boy. Boys, I should say, plural. We have a timeout on the floor. The Nighthawks are going to take it. We're going to take it with them. This is National Park College Basketball, live from Hot Springs on xerosports.com. At X Zero Sports, we are the next generation of Arkansas sports. We've broken the boundary set by TV and radio to offer a cost-free way to catch your favorite games from anywhere in the world. No paywalls, just sports. From local youth organizations to adult athletic leagues and everything in between, we're creating a world where all athletes can be heard. Follow our journey online at xzerosports.com. Special thanks to Connor Martinez on the camera tonight. He's had a tough task. He was shoved into a corner here. And he's done an excellent job. I know he can't hear us, but when he watches the broadcast, he'll be happy. All smiles for Connor. 
Here in the second overtime, it's 105-102. The Tigers lead by three, but it's Nighthawks basketball. Willett set to inbound, out to quarter. 105 to play. Willett pressured. Down low, Kesterson fouled. There's Dusty. Double zero goes to the line to shoot two. Nighthawk shooting two. It's Kesterson, one of the star players for Umpire High School. Uh, him and his teammate both came over to National Park. Highly recruited. Gets his first free throws of the night. First shot by Kesterson is in and out, no good. The Nighthawks will settle for at least one. Still can cut this to a two point game. 59 seconds left in this double overtime period. Casterson, no good. Rebound, Nighthawks. Will it? A long shot from quarter, no. And the rebound goes to the Tigers. Here comes Reed and champion Christian College. All the way home as Williams lays it up for two, and now a two possession game. 40 seconds left. Will it for three. Hit as he shoots, no good. And an official timeout right here. There's a rough spot on the floor. It's not Jimmy. the bodies, Nathan, it's the, it's the shoes. Yeah, it's getting slippery. Yeah, and somebody's gonna get hurt. Good, good call to stop play there. One oh seven, one oh two. Back and forth we go. It will be Tigers basketball coming out of the official timeout here. You know, if the Nighthawks go on to lose this game, they have nothing to be ashamed of. They Not they played all. with half a team basically here in this two overtime period. So the way they fought back, uh, they've uh, definitely uh, given it their all. On the floor for the Nighthawks is Point Dexter. Willett, Quarter, Harper, and Kesterson. And here comes Williams for the Tigers. Kicks it out to Pike, 30 seconds left. They're going to try to hold the ball here as long as they can. Yeah, they're going to try to force the foul. National Park in a precarious situation where they've got a foul. Five is second personal. Champion shooting the double buttons. So at the line to shoot two is going to be Williams. He's been good. Especially here late. And they trust Williams too. He's taken the final shot at the end of regulation, at the end of the first overtime. First shot don't fall. Set to check in for champion Christian. It's gonna be Jalen Corley, number 23. Williams has taken 12 free throw attempts and hit most of them tonight. Second one's good. Extends the lead to six with 26.6 remaining. Set to inbound's gonna be Dusty Kesterson. He'll get it in, KJ Quarter. Time is not on their side. The Nighthawks need a big basket here. Quarter, pull up, long three, won't fall. And that is it's out of bounds. Weston Church tried his hardest. He dove for it. He was trying to get a timeout. And his body just took him out. Out of bounds. 14.5 seconds left. The Tigers may be able to breathe a sigh of relief here. May have taken two overtimes. Let's see. Seven seconds left. Quarter all the way down. Harper for three. Off the rim, no good. Pike holds it. And the Tigers are going to hold it for the win. In double overtime, champion Christian escapes by six. And your final score, 108-102. The Tigers are victorious here at home tonight. We'll take a break, and we're back after this to try to piece this one all together. This is National Park Nighthawks basketball on xzerosports.com. 
we're the new guy. And just like your athlete, we're looking to be the next rising star here in Arkansas. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash X Zero Sports. Follow us on Twitter at X Zero Sports. And together, we can bring the next generation of Arkansas sports to the communities we all call home. Did you miss part of the broadcast? Do you like what you hear and want to share it with your friends? You can catch this broadcast in its entirety online at xzerosports.com. Each day in Arkansas, many athletes and coaches are overcoming the odds and accomplishing great things in their communities. Whether it's a prestigious award, excellent community service, or overcoming a personal challenge. X Zero Sports wants to recognize the brightest stars in Arkansas by sharing their stories online for the world to enjoy. We call these people X Zero Heroes, and we believe their stories should be shared with the world. Nominate your X Zero Hero today by visiting us at xzerosports.com. Here in Arkansas, our greatest resource isn't chicken or rice, cattle or cotton. It's youth. And in central Arkansas, we're brimming with it. And that's the reason we started X Zero Sports, to bring sports broadcast media coverage to all communities, not just the big ones. Learn more about our mission and our journey at xzerosports.com. At X Zero Sports, we are the next generation of Arkansas sports. Man, we've broken the boundary set That's by TV game. and radio to game. offer a cost-free way to catch Ooh. your favorite games from anywhere That's in the world. That's a good one to build a rivalry. No paywalls, just right sports. Here. From local youth organizations to adult athletic leagues and everything in between, we're creating a world where all athletes can be heard. Follow our journey online at xzerosports.com. champion Christian College. I'm Mark Oliver, joined by Coach Hudnall. Coach, a heartbreaker here, but but let's talk about the things that went really well for this team. You know, late in the second half, down by as many as 11, your team never gave up, came if back, we can get all the maybe some whistles not going your things, way, rockets, especially balls, your way, <laughs> but I want to go back to that timeout. After the technical foul that was called against you, you called a timeout for your team, and you got your young men together, and it was all smiles in that huddle. What did you tell those young men? Yeah, well, I, I told them I, I think they appreciated me getting that technical, and I'll be honest with you. I walked out to half court, and I told them to call it. I said, call it on me. Call it on me. I wanted him to call it on me. I needed my young men uh, to see that I was, I was going to fight for them. It, it, it's a, it was tough getting a call tonight. It's a tough place to play. Um, that, that's kudos to them. They've made it that way. So it is what it is. So I, I brought him in and said, look, guys, that's, that's on me. I can't get another one. They're tossing me. So I've got to be good, uh, and I'll try to be. But, look, let's go have fun. Let's make this thing more. We had about two and a half minutes, I think, at that point. Um, I really was just wanting my kids to see that I'm not giving up, that I'm still fighting. And I think they, I think they kind of took a little, uh, a little momentum, a little motivation from that. We had to go real small. Had to go real small there at the end because Braylon had fouled out. Lowell had uh, had four, and I was, I had to pull him out, uh, basically just to go shooters. I went shooters there at the end to see if we could get back in it. And, and man, the kids played their hearts out. Kids played their absolute hearts out. I can't I can't say enough for how proud I am uh, of that never give up, never say die. You know what? We got better as a team tonight. We lost the game, but we got better as a team. Uh, I, I believe we got better from just a team unity standpoint. You saw the bench going crazy, the, the, the guys on the bench that never got in the game, never got in the game at all, but, the, but they were cheering for their teammates. You saw starters that fouled out, that had to play a role that they're not used to playing. They had to cheer for somebody else. So, it, you know, I, I'm disappointed. I promise you nobody in this gym hates losing uh, more than me. And, uh, and this hurts, and I hate it. We got these guys two more times, and I think this is a, a great start of a great rivalry right here though. I love that they're right across town. I can't wait for January 2nd. Well, that's right. And we've been talking about it all night on the broadcast. It's it's the last time we'll play here in 2017, but we're going to open the new year in a great situation. We're going to play these guys again January 2nd over at Bank of the Ozarks Arena. And uh, you saw the crowd here tonight. Uh, the National Park Nighthawks blue. Yeah, it was out in full force here. And I can't wait to see just how full those stands are going to get once we get to the big arena on January 2nd and get these guys again. Uh, your team going to be out for revenge, safe to say? A absolutely. We were already talking about it. We're Coach, already talking about it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. I appreciate Sorry you being here. Sorry for a tough here. loss, but a great effort by your team. Go celebrate with your young men after a fantastic performance We will tonight. do it. Go Nighthawks. 
Coach Hudnall, your final score tonight, 108 to 102. The Nighthawks fall in double overtime. And that closes out 2017 for the National Park Nighthawks basketball program. But like we said, we'll be back in action January 2nd as this Nighthawks team will take on the Tigers of Champion Christian College at Bank of the Ozarks Arena here in Hot Springs. I'd like to say thank you to uh, my beautiful wife, Mrs. Hannah Oliver, listening into the broadcast back home alongside my two wonderful children, uh, Michael and Benjamin Oliver. And I uh, want to say a special thank you to our camera crew, uh, Connor Martinez on camera tonight, Nathan Looper, my color commentator. I'm Mark Oliver. This one's for the Nighthawks. We'll see you next time.